What bodybuilding means to me is creating the ultimate sculpture that I've always had in my own vision. To finally do what you've always wanted to do. In your mind, create that sculpture through the tools in the gym. My name is Wesley Visser, 25 years old. And just who I am is just someone who follows his passion, which is because of my dad, who I looked up to. I was inspired by him, by how big he was. And of course, me being a 13 year old kid was really, I wanted to be like him. I asked him to take me to the gym. And when I was 14 years old, I was allowed to go to the gym. That was the official legal age actually to work out with weights there. A lot of people start out without knowing what they're doing the first two years. That's why my dad really explained how, how to do everything from the very beginning, which I'm very happy about. After a couple of years, like another bodybuilder actually told me that I might have talent for this sport. So I decided to do this contest when I was 20 years old. And I asked my parents for permission to actually do my first bodybuilding contest, because we all know it takes a great amount of effort to do so. But they agreed right from the start, because if it was my passion, I was allowed to do it. And then actually won that contest as a junior. And then the year after that, I won the same contest, but not as a junior. I actually won the entire division, um, basically everybody competing, I beat. So that gave a great feeling. And that told me, hey, maybe you do have some talent for this sport. This guy has the structure, he has the kinetics, he has the posing nailed, he has the conditioning nailed, he has the size nailed. He's got pretty much everything. I really do see a guy that physique represents, you know, that 70s era of a taller bodybuilder, looks kind of like Arnold. He's a tall guy just like Arnold. He's got those long limbs, wide shoulders, chest, lats, and small waist. The legs are, if anything, a little bit undersized, but Arnold was the same way, man. Like, Arnold had no quad sweep. The pain aan te drukken. Zoals de positie van je been, of je verder weinig om aan te spannen, een beetje kwad aan te spannen. Inderdaad, dat is perfect. En wat je dan doet. Als je draait eigenlijk zo in. To me, posing as a bodybuilder is basically showing off a sculpture in as much angles as you can in the best way. And it can be compared to dancing because there's both choreography involved. You have to know from pose A, how do you transition to pose B? So the transitioning in between each pose is basically a dance. It has to be a flow. Arnold Schwarzenegger also actually practicing his flow, his grace, using ballet classes from a professional ballet dancer. And bodybuilders can learn a lot from that to add more definition to their posing routine and to add more flow to their art form while on stage. After seeing Pumping Iron, which is what Arnold Schwarzenegger's documentary was of the 70s, I was really like, okay, bodybuilding isn't just about building mass, it's also about showing the body in an artistic way. So combining a muscular body with the, you know, with art, with basically sculpting the body in the gym is really the vision that I have of what bodybuilding should really be. So the first time that Classic Physique actually came to Europe, I of course took my chance and went on to do that contest. And when I did that one, which really suited my physique, I won immediately and actually won my pro card there, which means I was able to do professional contests. Wesley Bizzers is a guy that just turned pro in Classic Physique just a couple days ago now. 
He has an amazing structure. He's taller than most of them. He's bigger than most of them. Um, this is definitely a scenario where you can see some younger guy come out of nowhere um, and place highly or even win the Classic Physique Olympia. So I got 75 points, and the uh, first guy who got 75 points is also in 14th place. The road to the Arnold Classic 2019. We're going to break down the men's Arnold Classic lineup. I think we really need to see Wesley Bizzers take fourth here. I've had a lackluster showing at the Olympia. Um, I think this is going to be his redemption show. Wesley ended up taking 10th at this show. Criticize his legs and say that he needs more detail and muscle maturity. I really expected him to do much, much better, but he just failed. And maybe in terms of classic physique as a competitor here in the IFBB, you know, maybe he's not going to do that well. Maybe the judges are just saying, you know, we don't like this physique. And when I was on the Arnold Classic stage and I wasn't in the first call out, which means I wasn't in the top five or six, it kind of makes me feel like a lot of effort is being done, looking as classic as possible, and it's not being rewarded by giving me a top placing. Back in the day, it was a Y-frame, which is having broad shoulders and simply are going in a flow downwards. Right now, it's an X-frame. So wide shoulders and also legs that go outwards. And that's kind of the difference between what used to be classic bodybuilding and open class bodybuilding or modern bodybuilding. So the problem is that I don't really want to have those big legs, those tree trunk legs as they call it. But nowadays, it is mandatory to actually win any bodybuilding contest. It's a conflict in between should I choose what the judges want or should I stick to my beliefs? My dad really motivated me to keep going as a bodybuilder because I knew he had been doing it for many years. Next to bodybuilding, he's actually a road worker, which by itself is a very demanding job. For being a road worker, you have to get up very early in the morning. But then next to that, he does his cardio. So he needs to get up instead of 5.30, he needs to get up at 5 or 4.30 to actually do his cardio. And that is really admirable, I think, to really sacrifice even more time to put into his lifestyle of bodybuilding to become a better version of himself next to being a road worker. No, that really motivated me to push me forward every single time to try to reach that level of strength. He has been a very big mental support. But when I did my first bodybuilding contest, he was right there with me backstage with every single contest from then on out. Two reasons why I want to place number one in every competition that I do. Not only because it's my passion I want to be number one, but also because I have a company that thrives on those victories. What's up guys? Welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. Being number one brings with it popularity and my brand Vintage Genetics really builds upon this popularity. One of the urgencies of winning contests is because I want to support the people around me, especially my father and of course my mother as well. And so my dad can actually stop being a road worker and really focus on what he loves the most, which is doing uh, the stuff for this company.
you know, before I was motivated by his work ethic and now because he sees me at all these uh, bodybuilding shows, he has motivated himself to do the cardio, to do the hard work, to do the nutrition. So it's been a really great time together to pretty much um, become the best versions of ourselves by looking at each other. <laughs> want him to approve of what you're doing. And him being proud of me really further stimulates me to keep doing these contests because it simply feels really good yeah. to make your own dad proud.